Yes guys, so as you know, I'm here in Italy for three weeks of 25K events in singles and doubles. I showed you last week how I was preparing for the event. Now it's time to put that practice into performance. I'm gonna be playing my first singles qualifying event, which I'm gonna show you in this video. They started off pretty normal. I went down to breakfast, made sure that I had all of the usuals. I also had some electrolytes to make sure that I was keeping hydrated. Me and James then went to the gym to do a full physical warm up using the bands, internal, external rotation, engaging the core, doing some stuff on the treadmill, loads of different stuff as a full match warm up. That usually lasts me around 30 minutes. We then moved to the court to focus on all of the basics, hitting up and down the middle, serve, return, and we finished with some points to make sure that I was ready for the match coming up. And without further ado, I'll let you enjoy. One thing, if you could subscribe, that will massively help out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the highlights of the match. Right guys, so my opponent for this match was to be Leonardo Catani, ranked 1,376 in the world. So he has a few ATP points under his belt, so I knew it wasn't going to be an easy match. I think he was seeded number four in the qualifying draw, so I knew that if I could get through this one, there was a good potential that I could qualify. Of course, being the first match of this three-week block on clay, the first is always going to be a little bit rusty. There are a few dodgy bounces, but, you know, those come on a clay court. I definitely think that I was using my serve really, really well at the beginning of this match. He was also quite a big server. His game style favoured hitting big spin forehands on the clay, which was super effective, and also hitting really big serves. He would even mix it up with kind of a kick serve like this, which you can see I was nowhere near. And I knew that from the beginning of this match, my aim was to kind of target his backhand, try and keep off my backhand, and to try and move him around. I know that players that like to hit big like to have a, a strong base and to be kind of moved through the centre. So if I can move him deep, short, all around the place, he'd struggle to generate that power and keep me behind the baseline. It was pretty even up until this point here at 2-1. Again, trying to mix the serve up, go to his forehand, because he'd have to generate a lot of spin and pace to keep the ball down. And as you can see, they're getting two free points on my serve. I do think I could have got a bit more accuracy with my serve. Sometimes the second serve was wavering a little bit more to the middle of the court, but that's something I think I ironed out towards the end of this match. And here, as you can see, at 30, it's an important point. He gets really good depth on the ball. He just put the ball in the net. I went down 3-1, an early break, but I wasn't too worried. I knew that I was, had confidence in my game. I knew that I was, of course, going to find my rhythm in these matches. I think in experience, I've always had a little bit of a shaky start, but I've always made up for it in the games after. So especially here at 40-15 down on his serve. I think I'm just trying to find my depth, find exactly how I want to hit the ball. As you can see there, there were a few awkward bounces and even on that other one which forced me to not be able to pass him there. And like I said earlier, that's just what happens on clay. It happens to him, it happens to me. Um, it's just about dealing with it. Having maybe a few extra little steps to move around the ball is super important. But, you know, it also seems when you're winning, they come at the right times and when you're losing, they come at the wrong times. So that's just part of the sport. I think as well here, like that backhand, trying to move him around, going a little bit with the angle and trying to open up the court. He was able to get a lot of spin high to my backhand and move me about, but I think the way that I tried to defend it was kind of by going deep myself and trying to play as much depth as possible and to just try and move him around the court. And like that, just missing maybe a few centimeters long. If that goes in, that's a really accurate and damaging shot. Ball skipping into me once again, and here at 30 all putting in a solid serve, but he manages to just about get the return. I go up the line, come into the net, play a little drop volley, but it just about isn't good enough. But he puts the ball wide, but I still end up losing the set. And now in the second set, after losing the first set, 6-2 with a double break, I know I really have to change a tactic or really get firing and get going. So I said to myself, the beginning of this set, just stay solid, stay relentless, make a lot of balls and try and find your rhythm a little bit more. As you saw, I was making a few forehand errors, so I knew maybe just tone it down a little bit. And as you can see here, going 30-15 up quite early on, I was just waiting for his response, and his response was strong. The massive serve down the tee, followed by a massive forehand cross, putting me right into the back corner, which ended up forcing the ball long. 
but I was trying something different and trying a different tactic, which is something that I think is super important. I've been working on my mental strength, and I definitely think that that's something that I've worked on with APEAK, is making sure that I'm working on my between point rituals, but also making sure that I'm focusing on always being present, visualizing the point that I want to play, but also being tactically aware of what my opponent's doing, what the guy on the other side of the net is doing. And I think that in this second set, I was able to do that much better. Even though some shots were still missed, it's about moving on from them. And again here, going down an early break to go three love down. I just about find a 40 love lead or a 40-15 lead in this game. And I think here, is when the tide began to shift a little bit. Because I began to play a lot cleaner, a lot better, moving a little bit better like you just saw there. And this has instilled a little bit of confidence in, my, confidence in myself that I could really win this match. Even though well, it was obviously a double breakdown and potentially even going three love down in the second set. That is probably the worst bounce of the year. If you want to see the full highlights to this match, extended highlights will all be posted on the members page. All you have to do is go to our channel page and click the join button. And on mobile, there'll be a link in the description of this video where you can also become a member to see all of the extended highlights of all of my matches in the future. And that is a perfect example of how I wanted to play. I think this game is when I began to really loosen up, use my forehand, I really let loose, come into the net, different stuff like that. Unfortunately, or more fortunately, that one, that drop shot there was good enough. And even letting loose on this return, I think this is something I should have done really towards the beginning of this match with the new balls that would have really flown through the air. And of course, he puts that error along and I break back once again to be 3-2 down on serve, but confident, coming to the net, serving and volleying, trying different things. That's super, super important in tennis. And I think that I was trying to do that really well. And I'm quite proud of myself that I was able to try and mix it up and try some different strategies. As you can see, my opponent's response was very strong. Serving down aces, using his really big serve, serving me into the body, mixing it up with the slice. But I definitely think I had some of the answers. I was trying to come in, put a little bit of pressure on him. I wasn't going to let him go run away with it that easily. At 5-2 here, as you can see, I'm pretty much bombing down serves. At this point, I'm playing super loose, super free. And I think that, that was a massive advantage for me. I think that obviously I was a little bit tight getting towards the end of this match. I also haven't played a proper match in you know, quite a few weeks, so there's always that little bit of rust that's there. But that definitely wasn't ex an excuse for this match. I definitely think my opponent was playing the better tennis up until now. But I definitely knew that there was still time and there was still the opportunity to try and turn this match. Because, you know, until they win the match point, which he had now has three of, they haven't actually won. So here, just playing loose, smack that forehand cross. You know, I've got nothing to lose here. He puts the ball really deep on the line. I thought it was in. I carried on playing, play a winner. And it's now 40-30, and suddenly there's a little bit of doubt in my opponent's mind. And a little bit of confidence in mine. He eats a really good serve. I block back the return, and he just pushes that forehand wide to save three match points now on his serve. I'm beginning to think to myself, is he getting a little bit tight? Is he going to be able to hold out his service game? So as you can see here, basically hustling for my life, hoping that he would miss, which he eventually does and gives me a break point to go 5-4, serving to stay in the set or and in the match. So he goes kick out wide, I manage to go backhand cross. He smacks a forehand the other way. I managed to do really well to get onto that ball. I kind of predict where he's going, but can't quite get that ball down the line. And we're back to juice here. I thought maybe my opportunity's gone, but I knew I'd try, keep trying to hustle. He puts another bath, he puts another forehand wide. And again here, another opportunity to try and break him. And that ball just travels slightly long. And I'm now 5-4 on serve. And for the first time in this match, I'm actually on serve with a chance to get back into this one. Hit an ace in the first point of the game, as you saw, and now it's back to juice. Again, the pressure's on. You can see I was a little bit tight here, a little bit tentative. Whereas in reality, now watching this back, I should have been really ripping the forehand like I was, which was winning me the points in the previous games, playing loose. 
And as you can see here, he's now moving me around the court, which I think was probably one of the things that I shouldn't have let happen. Looking back on it now, this is one of the biggest things I would change, having an intention in these key moments, key points, just going for it. And again, a fourth match point here. And again, you, like you can see, I did hit a pretty big serve, and I'm going big with the forehand, go back behind, and hit a winner. So that's quite a good, uh, that's quite a good intention there. But again, back to juice, and now is almost when we're when we're back to evens. Managed to hit that ball bang on the line. He does well to get there. Manages to slice up the line. Try and switch back. Hits the top of the net. And the fifth match point goes his way. I managed to go kick serve. He gets it super, super deep. Now just rallying with high spin. Managed to put a backhand and it gets a net cord and he doesn't get there. It's five match points saved. I was thinking, no way I'm going to get back into this one. This would be unbelievable. Forehand inside out there, push him onto the slice, try and rip it inside in with good depth and just goes a few centimetres long. Those are the fine margins in tennis. I said to myself on this point, I'm going to go big. And unfortunately, it goes long, but I think a very valuable learning experience. Yes, guys, so obviously this week wasn't my week. I played a really good, experienced opponent and I think it's going to take me a few more matches to really find my groove. I think what was working really well was my forehand. I did give away quite a few mistakes when I was going for the lines, so maybe focusing on building the point a little bit more, coming forwards. I think my volleying was pretty good on that day, so I'm going to maybe work on the serve and volley and also just have confidence on my shots. I feel like I was lacking a little bit of confidence, but I still had the mindset to win. I managed to nearly scrape it back with saving all of those match points towards the end so I definitely think my level was rising throughout the match so I'm super positive looking forward to the next week I've also got doubles coming out with my friend James which is super exciting and so make sure that you subscribe and turn the notifications on to not miss that video I'm super excited to share the rest of the trip with you guys and I'm super excited to be back on tour I hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in the next one I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in the next one